Hi, I'm Sarah Alexandra Marks. You're listening to the Don't Go Out There podcast. Welcome back, everybody, to the Don't Go Out There Horror Movie Podcast. Just want to thank all of our fans and listeners. I really appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. Super excited for this interview. Tonight, we're interviewing another long-standing member of the business. She was born in Essex, England. She trained as a dancer, going on to perform at prestigious venues, most notably the Royal Opera House. She transitioned to screen acting and quickly began racking up an impressive list of film credits with leading roles in Howard J. Ford's Escape and the upcoming River of Blood. Other leading roles include the horror films Witch, The Caller, and The Manor. Miss Sarah Alexandra Marks, thank you very much for joining us tonight. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for having me. It's good to be here. It's our honor. We really appreciate your time. We just like to start all of our interviews by just asking, what is it that got you into acting? Well, um, I've always enjoyed being in the creative field. And I started out as a dancer. My mum, she took me to my first ballet class when I think I was three. And I've just loved performing ever since then. You know, I, I caught the bug for it and I've wanted to keep with it. I did some drama at school and that was really as far as acting went for me until um, later on I decided... I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a shot. I I love dancing, but I did run into some problems, um, you know, with my joints. And I thought, this isn't a long career that I can sustain. So I want to stay in the entertainment industry and I'm just going to give acting a go. And that was it, really. I love that. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, Before we get into Escape, can you tell us a little bit more about your earlier films? You've definitely been in or around a lot of the horror genre over your almost two-decade-long career now. Do you have a particularly favorite role over the years you've played, and if so, why? Yes, I I actually have been in the performance arts industry for quite a while. Although acting, I didn't start acting until I'd say about 11, 12 years ago. And then acting really took off for me, I would say, after covid that's when everything changed for me. Um, yeah, it just really become my life. And I've had some amazing roles and taken part in some amazing films since then. Right. Uh, God, so many. And yes, I have predominantly done a lot of horror, which I really <laughs> enjoy doing. It's a lot of fun. Oh, what, what about it? What about the genre is, is so fun and appealing to you? It's just the uh, the excitement you get when you're on set. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it, things change all the time and you get to experience a lot of wackiness. <laughs> you know, um, because I have been in a lot of horror films, my characters have been killed in a right. lot of films. So just experiencing that as well is something very strange and odd and fantastic as well at the same time. Well, being killed in a horror film is kind of a, you know, rite of passage for a, for a lot of actors and actresses is, uh, do you have a particular kill, uh, or method of being killed or, or a part that's been your favorite through the years? <laughs> well, I think we'd all prefer not to be killed, right? In a film. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, especially my dad and my brother, they always say to me, can you just be in a film where you don't get killed or you're not getting chased or you're not trying to be killed or you're not trying to kill someone? <laughs> um, but no no favourite in particular. I find them all quite fun. Right. All quite gotcha. thrilling. For sure. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about Escape. You know, it, it hits theaters and, and video on demand this March 15th, uh, 2024. It's been said to be in the same vein as Taken or Revenge. You're playing Carla. Tell us a little bit about this role. You know I mean? What about this script got you excited to do this film? Really, firstly, the idea of working with Howard mm-hmm. was what got me really excited about working on this. I'd heard a lot about him. And, yeah, that was at the forefront of my mind. And then as time went on and my character Carla was being developed, that became 
a really exciting time for me because, you know, as we all must carry some sort of, you know, some deep, dark stuff within us. Right. Whether it's minor or it's big. And, you know, in life, sometimes we don't really face them. But when you get to play a character in a film, you, you can. You can face, you know, their darkest fears or, you know, problems that they've had or weight they're carrying through life. And with Carla, as Howard was developing her, you know, she has quite a backstory. And I can't say too much. I want to wait right, until right. you guys can watch it on the 15th. But she has a lot of weight that she is carrying. And throughout that film, she gets to go on a journey. And, you know, she gets to explore that and face a lot of that weight head on and, you know, let that out and put that into surviving. All right. Which was really quite interesting. Absolutely. Uh, so now, I mean, you've done all of your own stunts for this movie, I understand. I did, Can, can you yeah, talk to us, talk to us a little it. bit about that? That sounds awesome. Yeah. Well, you know, we all had such a good time. And we had great fight choreographer. And, mm -hmm. you know, we got to adapt. And there was quite a lot of freedom there. And um, it was just brilliant. You know, it's quite invigorating getting to do your own stunts. And right. I enjoyed it so much. And it's actually opened me up um, to that world. And it's made me think, I want to do this more. You know, I'm not scared of it. It's, it's great. Right, right. Well, I mean, whenever I think of stunts, I think of, you know, foreign off locations and stuff like that. And that kind of leads me into my next question. There's a lot of shooting on location in this film. Can you, can you talk a little bit about your experience with that? I mean, was that a good thing for you, a bad thing? Was it rough on your schedule? How was that? Oh, for me, that is the beauty of this film, Escape, is filming mm -hmm. all on location. You know, can you imagine just thinking about going on a beautiful tropical holiday? Right. But then right. you get to you get to go there for work and you get to do what you love. And yeah. it's just unreal. Like what a dream experience. It was right. just amazing. And that is all thanks to Howard, you know, for taking risks and, you know, believing that we could all do this and bringing in such a great team to actually make that happen. It was just unreal. What are some of the locations you got to visit? So we filmed um, mainly in the Canary Islands, and okay. we did do a little bit in the UK as well. Awesome. All right. So, I mean, you've, you've already talked about the man himself, Howard J. Ford, uh, who's directing this film. From what I've heard about him, you know, he gives his actors a little free reign with their characters. I mean, was that the case here with you and, and Carla? Um, I mean, and... I know you you love. Can you talk a little bit more about working with with Mr. Ford? Yeah, he, you know Howard, he really does trust in his actors, which mm -hmm. is is a really great feeling to have when you're on set. But he is also he's just so subtle as well when he wants to give you yeah. direction, and he does it in a way where you may not even actually realize. And he has this quality of, you know being able to talk to you and bring out something right. in you without being too on the nose and it being so obvious that he's giving you direction. I got you. So there's not necessarily, when you talk about that, it's not necessarily ad libbing. It's just direction without direction type of free reign. Yeah. yeah he just oh, okay, had that, gotcha. that magic quality going about him. He's just a, He's a great man, and he is a phenomenal being, you know, to work with. It's just a real pleasure to work it with Sounds him. like it. That sounds incredible. <clears throat> According to IMDb, you have a lot of projects in the works. Is there anything at all you can talk about? The one that particularly caught my eye because of it being horror, of course, was Witch. Is there anything you can tell us about that at all? I love oh. Witch horror movies. <laughs> well, I can't say too much because it's very close to being released. Mm -hmm. But um, if you like fantasy and mystery, magic and horror, I think you are in for a real treat with which <laughs> but you won't have too long to wait. Um, I don't actually have a date yet that it's going to be released, 
But I do have um, another horror, you like horror, called yeah. The Manor of Darkness, which is produced by Lucas A. Ferrara, which is should actually be out this year. And okay. also another Howard J. Ford picture, which I shot last year, the end of last year in Thailand, called River of Blood, written by Tom Boyle. So I've got another action horror for you guys. To action horror, to. doing your own yeah. stunts. Doing yeah. those old stunts, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, now d- does Sarah Marks like the horror genre to sit down and watch a horror film? And if so, like, what what kind of movies do you do you like? If it's horror movie, horror movie, what's what's your favorite stuff? Oh come on, we all love a bit of horror, don't we? We all like to get oh. excited and you know be on the edge of our seat, gripping, and you know I am one of those watchers that will just shout at the screen. You know, <laughs> trying to tell <laughs> the person on the screen what to do. It's just, it's exciting. You know, my favorite horror film is Scream. Scream there one, but I like all of the Scream movies. Right. They are my favorites. I just think they're just such a classic. You can't go wrong. And I love I guessing do. who the killer is, you know, and trying to work things out. Yes. Uh, Scream is my favorite horror franchise as well. Yeah. Uh, do you have... I don't know if you've been following the the drama up and down of of them trying to get Scream Seven made, uh, but maybe maybe you can, maybe you can get in the in Scream Seven. It looks like they're they're uh, looking for new cast. <laughs> I would absolutely love to be in Scream Seven. That would be a huge dream of mine. That's actually <laughs> Scream is what made me want to be in horror films in the first place. Oh wow! Right? Yeah. That, so that would that's be going full circle, wouldn't it? That would be that brilliant. Would be fan- that would be fantastic. Brian, send Guy Busick an email. We have uh, we have That's connections it. there. <laughs> yeah, we we interviewed uh, the writer director of uh, or the you know writer Guy Busick on uh, Scream Five and Six, and so uh, yeah, we've got him. We got his email. I'll shoot him an email. I'll be like, hey, Come Sarah on, Marks. We'll, we'll band together. <laughs> That's we'll <make> right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You've been a you've been busy. Uh, what was that three, four movies coming out this year? That's incredible. Right. Before we let you go, is there anything you'd like to promote or anything else you'd like to discuss? Are you on social media? Would you like to shout those out? Where can the fans find you and follow you? Oh, yes. I'm on Instagram. Okay. You can find me there. It's Sarah A. Marks. That's where I predominantly share everything. Okay. Um, yeah. Find me there. Send me a message. Connect with me. Absolutely. I think Absolutely. Instagram is the move for everybody these days. Yeah, it is. It's, it's, it's easy, isn't it? It's nice. It's visual. I'm a creative soul, so I like to, you know, visually look at everything. Fantastic. I got one more question before we let you go, if you don't mind. Who, more than any actor or actress out there, would you want to work with in a, in a movie? It doesn't have to be horror, but just period. Okay. Anyone. Like the sky is the limit. An actor. I think I'd love to work with Tom Hanks or Tom Cruise. The two, the two T's, the two Tom. Tom's. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. absolutely. I got you. Two completely different Toms, but two amazing, amazing actors. Tom Cruise just—he amazes me. Like his, I can't believe he's still doing and looking and doing whatever he's doing at the age that he's at. It's it's incredible to me. It really he's is epic, isn't he? He just gives off this whole or of just greatness. (laughs) Absolutely. I I have one quick question as well. Today is, you know, international women's day. Uh, Who are some actresses that inspire you or you look up to? Oh, there's so many, you know, we are so lucky to have just such a vast amount of great actresses in this industry. Um, Wow. I love Scarlett Johansson. Nicole Kid- Kidman, Reese Witherspoon, Emily Blunt. Um, God, there's Emily just Blunt's too many. Awesome. Too many. There are so Emily many Blunt's great awesome. ones. That's incredible. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. We're Thanks looking for forward to me. your movies coming out. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. There's a lot to keep up with. <laughs> that's the aim. Yeah, every- aim. That, that's right. Hey, everybody, don't forget Escape comes out March 15th, 2024. So yeah. check that out. 
uh, everywhere you can uh, everywhere you can find it.